Hello, Xin Chào. This is John Anderson, Australia Sales Manager for Vietnam Bike Tours. Currently isolated, isolating in an Airbnb ABS house in way central Vietnam with this beautiful balcony view of the Perfume River. Now it's, there's been a thunderstorm and heavy rainstorm today, but it doesn't matter because I'm dry and I have to finish this little video for the ATTA. So yes, the situation of total restriction, total shutdown, lockdown in the city, uh, everybody very, very scared uh, of the virus coming here, very, very um, proud of the job that Vietnam has done to contain the virus as has it has. Uh, it's to be congratulated. Uh, on 268 positive cases and no deaths. So that is an amazing achievement uh, when you have a border, big border with China, which was shut very early, early February, at the uh, start of the Tet holidays when schools closed, the border was closed and all Chinese tourists uh, have gone home. So there's no one come into the country after the 24th of March. The airlines have not been flying. There's been no evacuation flights from here after that and I decided to stay here. And I'm very glad I did. I decided to fly from Saigon, where I spent uh, a week, to Hue. I was the only, only Westerner on the flight, and uh, I've come here to a hotel. Now, everything's shut. Now, the owner of Vietnam Bike Tours is not in, in Hue. He's isolating with his family in the rural area of uh, Quang Tri Province, Quang Tri Town and um, he does a bit of solo cycling, beach cycling, beach road cycling, and, in, and I think he's going to be promoting solo bike tours, or maybe tours of two or three. Maybe small group tours are the thing of the future, but at the moment, we have the internet group, the internet group of uh, agents, sales agents worldwide, uh, UK, America, Europe, Australia, and USA. And they're all in the same boat except, except they're home and I'm here. <laughs> and I'm going to be helping uh, we develop some strategies going forward, just throw some ideas around. I would like to, maybe we should have forum, a forum with our own people to discuss ideas of kickstarting the cycling business when, when travel opens up here. Uh, the Adventure Travel Associ Trade Association would be very helpful for their support because obviously there's a lot of food for thought for members in the different adventure travel businesses. We basically just stop. We, there's not an investment. It's all freelancing stuff. It's all service provision. It's all hotels. So we're not bringing business to other people. The freelance tour guides are all waiting. And some of them were affected by coronavirus. Uh, one, my friend from Way has had to quarantine because he had two positive cases on, on a tour out of uh, you know, UK guys out of Saigon. So, you know, it's a worrying time and it won't be safe to run tours, real tours. We might be, have to run virtual bike tours for a while, so we, well, that's just something we were thinking about. But it's, uh, it's, it's really challenging times and it's not going to be easy. And I just say thank you, ATTA, for giving me the opportunity to do a little video, the guidelines allowed me to talk for about 15 minutes or, or whatever. I'm always good for a seven minute video, so three minute videos had quite a few takes and I've now run to four, so I'll just say thank you very much. Uh, I'll submit this one at four minutes and I hope you don't mind me, me, me prattling on, but thank you and I look forward to working with this company, of course, and also having more interaction with the ATTA people. And maybe I can attend the rescheduled conference uh, in Adelaide because that is not far from my home. And I love, uh, I love that part of the country. So thank you.